Okay, so, so yeah. this was my second try of this uh, Bishop Gioco, C4 opening. Gioco pianissimo. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, uh, the important thing is that I'm trying to move too, because it, it, it's the way to avoid Petrov. Okay, Caruana yeah. basically does not play Petrov, but uh, mm -hmm. but theoretically I played it against Anish Giri recently. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then that game I was better, so I decided to try You were again. satisfied. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I must say that um, I was not happy at all about the the outcome because uh, bishop is seven. I don't know if it was often played, but uh, it's uh, it's actually yeah. a very good concept by Black because Black still delay. The the point is that Black delays this d5 move, mm -hmm. and now, for example, he wants to play d5. So if I play short castle, of course, Black can play d5, and I probably have nothing there. Ah oh, no, okay. I thought he can play d5 actually, but ah, uh, you thought he can play d5 because okay, position. I have to take uh, play bishop e5 check maybe bishop d7. Bishop takes knight bd7. I didn't think I was better, but okay, I thought uh, maybe something would be. Anyway, I didn't see any alternative to short castles, so um, maybe an alternative could be playing bishop b3, but it was. Uh, Just I thought a little it was. Louder, yeah, maybe the alternative could be playing bishop b3, but uh, then mm -hmm. I thought they can make short castle and then d5. Yes, yeah, sorry, mm -hmm. that, that's, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that's what I mean. So, so basically, okay. Although Fabiano plays d d6 here, but still later on he's sometimes threatening to play d5 quickly. And uh, okay, comparing to this Joko Piano, as you say, it's uh, Black Knight is still on uh, b8, and, and yeah. it actually is quite well placed on d7. So, it's, uh, so I wasn't really happy about my opening choice <laughs> somewhere around here. So okay, I played some normal moves. Normal moves, so yes. Rook e1, mm -hmm. and here uh, I expected actually b5 from him, and after bishop b3, maybe then knight d7, threatening knight c5. Knight c5, yes. Uh, I thought this was interesting. Okay, he played knight d7 first, so and now, of course, uh, b5 is a threat, so the question is how I should deal with this. I thought about a4, but then in some lines, when my bishop goes to a2, he can also attack the pawn on the a4. Pawn, yes. Or also after a4, he can play knight c5, I don't have b4. Okay, I have b4, but knight takes a4. Knight takes a4 and b5, yes. Although, okay, maybe no, I looks also... logical, I see. But yes, you... but, uh, yeah, no, but okay, maybe, uh, I mean, looking what happened in the game, a4 would be much uh, more to the point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think here I made a mistake. Because, okay, a conceptual alternative was c3, but c3 I, I rejected, I mean, with, uh, let's say, with consign screen, because I thought... After c3, he plays d5, bishop b3, something like maybe queen takes on e4, and then queen c7, and then he, he quickly comes up with his normal plans, like knight c5, and so mm -hmm. on, and I have really nothing, so, so I won't. But a4, yeah, a4 was, I should have played a4 instead of a3, well, a3 is not the kind of move you can hope for anything. At least he would not be able to do the plan that he played in the but game. Of in course, game. he would play something, uh, he something, would find yes. some other good plan, of course, but... Uh, well, but the reason I rejected it, I was afraid of d5, and if I go with my bishop to a2, mm, well, once again, he can play queen c7, and sometimes his uh, threat is to take on e4, and then play knight c5, and then also my pawn is attacked, besides mm -hmm. everything. So mm -hmm. but, but that was basically the reason I just decided not to play a4. Okay, so then... Um, okay, yeah, okay, h6. Okay, it's an interesting plan. Of course, knight f1. I completely forgot about the idea of knight b6 with a temp, otherwise maybe I'll try something else, although it's hard to try something real here. It's, uh, maybe knight would be better placed on e3. Ah, no, but then I don't have... Okay, d4 could be an alternative. Just try to play d4 immediately. Once his knight is on h7... On h7? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, may, yeah, maybe... Try to open the position in the center. Mm, yeah. But somehow I just forgot that he has this intermediate move knight b6. I played knight g3 thinking, okay, he plays knight g5, I play knight f5, I'm fine now. At least mm -hmm. I'm changing there. But, uh, no, but uh, that was not the point. He played this and... You played this. Yeah. And now he played immediately? Yeah. Yes, knight g5. I think it's... Yeah. Good, yeah. No, here I was very pessimistic already. I thought... I thought I missed it. And then I found this you idea to yes. make it more complicated. But to complicate uh, the position. You didn't yeah. want to play h3? No. No, because Black's plan is actually to take on f3 and then play bishop g5 and mm -hmm. to put the other bishop on e6. On e6 and, and, and I have nothing. In fact, 
Uh, my feeling was that in the game he should have done it too. So, mm -hmm. so after I expected after C3 to play knight f3, queen f3, bishop g5, and I thought really it's nothing for white. So, so and also the, the worst thing in this position is that it's very stupid that my pawn is on a3. I mean, I would prefer it to be on a2. To be a Not even talking about uh, spending a tempo, but I would really prefer it to be on a2. At least then when he plays bishop e6, I, I yes, can, uh, can wait. At least this bishop would have been defended. <laughs> yes, <case>. yes. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, so I believe this was a very simple way to play. Okay, after bishop g4, g4, I started liking my position. I thought it got complicated, but once again, it wasn't so easy to make it work. So. Mm. Okay. D4. So, okay. Queen C8. Queen C8. Queen okay. Queen. Now you unpin yourself. Now he must do because his idea was mm. to double your f pawns. Knight f3. G takes f3. Bishop, bishop e6. e6. Okay. Yeah. No, I didn't want to exchange on e6 because he takes with the pawn obviously. Of okay. course. And then you don't have knight f5. So, and now I think an interesting alternative to what I played would be c4. Maybe it's I played d5 you rather play quickly d5. and. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe I should have played it, uh, should have thought more in this moment. Somehow I missed this idea of bishop h3 uh, and then all this queen g4 stuff and uh, suddenly my um, c5 and, e, and e5 squares are weak. Well, c4 was an interesting alternative, but I thought maybe after c4 he can play bishop g5, so, so that was the reason I rejected, but in fact, bishop g5, I'm not so sure whether it's good because uh, can there are also some moves like yes, yes, like yes. c5 in this position. And, uh, and, and also, well, it's, um, yeah, because I have some ideas like maybe taking on g5, taking on e5, and queen c3. And if he plays, no, queen e3, sorry. And mm -hmm. if he plays f6, of course I play c5. c5, yes. He cannot, and suddenly he has big problems. But yes, okay, yes. the problem is that he can also play queen d8, and maybe he's still doing all right. Because then c5, knight d7, once again I take on e6, but what for? I mean, it's, uh, I have, I get better pawn structure, but I'm, my king can be a bit weak. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, uh, yeah. In any case, c4 okay. was an alternative. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Worth considering, so, yeah. we can d say. d5, um, bishop h3. Um, so here, I mean, judging by what happened in the game, I'm thinking maybe I should have played first taking on c6 and then f4. And then f4. Mm -hmm. Although I'm not sure there's such a big difference, because he can, of course, do still the same plan uh, as in the game. Uh, yeah, maybe there is no difference because he can just do exactly the same thing, uh, take and play queen g4. So just so. different move order with the same yeah. position. Yeah. So if we look, start looking for some real alternative, then I'm thinking maybe, maybe I could. Because okay, exchanging on d5 is a strong idea, uh, and then f5. Actually, I was also afraid he could take on d5 and play bishop h3, but you know, some complications. So, so maybe if I take on c6, he takes on c6, and then maybe some just quite plan like king h1, rook g1. Rook g1 maybe, yes. would, maybe this would be, a, would be an interesting alternative. But then the problem, he might try to get back with his bishop to e6, and then I have to make a decision to exchange it or... To, or I would have to move it to less active square. Yes. As I say, my yes. pawn is on e3, which makes yes. the whole thing very stupid. <laughs> so, okay, okay. So the game, at some, yeah. Now then, it's um, okay. After bishop f4. queen g4, four, mm -hmm. bishop g2. At this moment, I was still optimistic, but once he played bishop g5, I got. I really understood that uh, my position is not that good because. He always has this. Uh, he always has this ideas of sacrificing the pawn in d6, but getting with his pieces very quickly. And then I'm not sure whether what I did was correct because I think if I take on g5 first, then probably it's not that good for him to take with a pawn. Then I have e5. Well, at least that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. So that means that uh, I was afraid, obviously. Uh, 
of queen takes g5. Queen takes g5. And then, okay, I have this plan of king h1, but I wanted to play this plan with my, so, sorry, taking on c6 and then king h1, rook g1. But I wanted to play it with my pawn on f3 because I thought otherwise he may sometimes has queen f6 with a tempo and things yes, like that. Yes, of course. And that in such positions, tempos are always very important. So, mm -hmm. Okay, so that was my idea. After f3, queen h4, bishop g5, I, won. I hoped he would take with the queen and then after d6, b6, king h1, I thought I still can be slightly better. But after he took on g5, I realized that... Uh, Taking the pawn on d6 is very dangerous. He plays rook a d8 somehow. Yes, in rook d2 in the next. Yeah. And also sometimes queen goes to f4 and knight comes to d7. Just everything works for him. It's, uh, okay, and then I basically played knight f5 trying to already to... He, from here on I started playing to try to save the game because I understood that it didn't go as well as I wanted. So, mm -hmm. okay, at least I should try not to lose it. So. Okay, and uh, he, my, um, Fabiano admitted after the game that he thought that he was better, so his play um, was very ambitious from this point, because I believe that to keep equal position he has very many possibilities, but mm -hmm. uh, okay, mm -hmm. the question is whether he can be better or not, he tried to win and finally it worked better for him, so. Well, I don't know what would be, what can I say his last mistake was. Um, after queen d4, I was a little bit afraid if he takes place with queen h3 first, and after queen g4, queen h6, but okay. I believe my position is still relatively solid. I mean, it's, it's not very pleasant, and also I was a shorter of time than him, but I don't think I should be that much worse, because uh, it's still bishop against the knight, and my pawns are... His knight is still on b6, it, yeah, it's time sixes. to come to f6. And yes, it's time, of course. And, uh, so after queen h6, it took me some time to find this rook e2 move, but when I found it, I thought I'm not worse. It's very important to know that if he plays knight d7, after rook e2, mm -hmm. uh, with the idea to come with his knight to f6, I think now uh, bishop a4 is quite a strong move. So. Okay, then yes, I of course. Th I think it sh I should be Ta keeping the balance. But Attacking uh, one of his weaknesses. Yeah, well, at least just preventing, trying to prevent. Uh, my okay, so he, and as of I course. said, I, I consider the position to be equal, but he was playing quite ambitiously. And after queen d6, okay, I still had to, on move 28. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, take. Right. Took two, took uh, two, and queen d6. Yeah, now he allowed this c4, he allowed this yeah. c4 move. Yeah, because uh, being a little bit short of time, I wasn't sure whether I can easily keep equality. I could, for example, try to change queens like queen e5, but I thought maybe he can be slightly better in this same game. At least I'm rather passive after queen e5. Let's say he takes, plays rook b8, and I have to probably put my rook back to e2. Some ah, no, but then I have rook e7. Yeah, maybe no, I was... No, no, I think, I think after this move... Mm -hmm. uh, no, instead of c4, you mean? Yes, yes, yes. Aha! Instead so of c4. c4 queen e5, maybe it this. was still enough to keep balance. Yeah, but, uh, Takes and king f8, probably, I think. Yeah, but... Uh, should prevent the rook to come to, to seventh rank. Well, I was a little bit afraid that such an endgame could be worse, but... Well, and it is a little bit worse, it's true, but okay. But okay, then I saw mm -hmm. c4 and I mm -hmm. thought that... Uh, Somehow I saw that this d4 and d3 was not as dangerous as this, it seems. So mm, yes, no. This so your bishop is controlling this yeah, yeah. final promoting square, and this. And then I believe d3 was already a serious mistake by serious him because mistake, uh, yes, because then the pawn was actually weak. weak. So became weak. Yes. Yeah. So okay. if he d4 is okay, okay. To sacrifice one pawn is probably okay for such mm -hmm. a pawn on d4, mm -hmm. but maybe after, uh, if he plays normal knight d7, maybe it yes. should be considered equal position. Yes, just consolidating the position. Mm. Of course, because this three pawns against two, the double f pawns against these two black pawns. Although is I have sometimes ideas against his king. For example, after mm -hmm. knight d7, maybe I have, I oh know, bishop a4. Uh, doesn't work because of tactics, because of knight e5, and then he mm. takes on c4, yeah, so... Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, uh, yeah, well, knight e7... I would probably play something quiet, like queen g3, just trying to keep the position, I mean... I mean, I wasn't very ambitious on this stage of the game, I, and I was also 
Oh, but the the rook, so. rook G2 is a serious threat. Yeah. But okay, after G3, uh, yeah. I cannot play Rook G2 because yes. then his queen is very strong on G4. Rook E4, yeah. I think well, I found a very good move because mm -hmm. I'm yes. uh, both defending and attacking. And, and I think if he plays G2, I was not 100% sure, but I think I can play Rook G4 and sacrifice the bishop. Even sacrifice the bishop, yes. Yeah. Because then after he takes with the queen to G1, Yes, maybe I should mm -hmm. just show this okay. variation. Um, mm -hmm. So, well, I wasn't 100% sure, of course, but uh, mm -hmm. I was trying to calculate something like this. Takes. Oh, so this. Mm -hmm. uh, so, king f2, of course. King so, so he doesn't get uh, the check on e2. So, now mate mm -hmm. is threatening. So, it seems that he must give this check. So now my king is safe, and if he takes uh, the pawn on b2, I play f6. Of course, I'm already threatening mate. Okay, g6. Ah, yes, and rook h4 is the mate, because rook h8 and queen and h6, yes, 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 yes. so yes. I didn't see rook h4. I, I was calculating queen f5, uh, which is also very strong, probably also mating, but... Uh, yeah. Yes, with the sacrifice on g6. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, that means that... Uh, yeah, d2 was just just didn't work. I mean, uh, okay, he he's already obliged to play queen e5 and queen takes d2, and this is the position that we get. Okay, so I played queen e7. Maybe, yeah, now he cannot even change queens because uh, somehow I'm just in time for everything. Mm. Yeah, yeah uh, this is still king. It's so close mm, to yeah. the past pawn. Bishop is controlling d1. Mm. And now suddenly he's losing the pawn. Yes. Uh, I don't know if maybe he would get better chances if he gave it immediately. Immediately, yeah. and then the rook e8. Yeah, but no, but it's very similar to the game because I play rook d8. Mm -hmm. But then it's just very Aha. similar. Yeah. Very similar to the game. Yes. So okay, queen e3. Okay, here I was in quite a time trouble. I was maybe I had maybe one and a half minute for last four moves. So, so therefore. It's a normal time trouble syndrome that you change rooks and you are, you are sure you're not going to blunder everything, anything, and then also that you make move 40. I'm not sure whether, why, should, should really white change rooks in such position? I'm not 100% sure, because, uh, okay, it worked out at the end with this plan that uh, my king went to the king side and... Uh, the queen side. The queen side, yes. yes. And also it worked because I changed rooks, so maybe after all rook exchange was correct, but... On the other hand, I have an active rook, and his rook is still yes, passive, so, so. so maybe maybe I should play some other move, but okay, I was very short of time, and uh, the syndrome of uh, trying not to blunder was very strong, so. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, his move 40 a5 somehow made this a5 move very, um, pawn very weak, uh, so it looks like it's a wrong you move. You wanted to prevent the b4 to creating a passed pawn, probably. Yes, but yeah, but what he, but the problem is that mm -hmm. he had a very active queen on uh, e5. No, probably it's not a big deal for me. If he just plays normal king of g8, it's probably nothing really. Uh, I don't think it's uh, it's a big deal. Okay, I can. Yeah, because he already he wants to take the pawn on f5, and okay, we know. Technically, it's very difficult. To yeah. Well, as I remember from old Capablanca's books, he, Capablanca always thought that queen and bishop, knight uh, is a little bit better than it queen, and, better bishop, than queen so, and bishop. Yes, so yes. if black takes the pawn, then it's a little better, but okay, one pawn, I have one pawn more, so this it's makes it equal. But <laughs> no, I don't, uh, I don't think uh, white should win this. Okay, of course, white can create some problems. So, and also, when he played a5, my first uh, thoughts after the first time control ended was that, okay, two pawns, but he's very active, he's this queen and knight, very, everything on dark squares, I have this bad uh, f5 pawn. I was uh, almost thinking like make some move and uh, for draw, and then I realized that, okay, he has this horrible weakness on a5. Yes. And this is practically uh, stops all his counterplay, and then I have all this simple plan of moving, moving my king to in security. To queen side and then okay and then in safety yeah and then okay i don't know i had some um, okay basically here 
one of my plans is of course bishop b5 and then king b3 king a4 and yes, take, this take this pawn mm -hmm. okay this f6 i was a bit surprised by this brave decision but okay probably he just thought that he had no alternative if, uh, of course i expected him to go back but probably he decided that the, this position after bishop b5 and then i want to play king b3 he king a4 king and he, he decided that it's hopeless so yeah. Yeah, and then okay, I don't know if uh, maybe uh, the way I won was not the most technical because I had to calculate oh, until the very end and maybe I had I could make some moves uh, where I wouldn't have to calculate anything. For example, I had uh, I think a very simple plan of putting my bishop just to e4 and then king b4, king a, king b3, king a4 again because his knight already is out of place. So. Yes. Yeah, maybe, maybe this would be more technical. Just put my bishop on e4, knowing that he, he can no longer do anything with his queen and knight. So, but not okay. Somehow I decided to. To attack. Uh, then you have a very, yeah, very serious attacking prospects. Yeah, and okay. Uh, here, I was lucky to have some time to calculate bishop f7 because normally, I, of course, I was going to take and play queen d8. And then probably queen takes e5. Should be winning too, of course. But of course. But, but I think bishop f7 was nicer. So. Yes, bishop f7. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I think the win I saw here because uh, queen c 4 now is impossible because I take the, his knight. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the line that I was... Yeah, here the simplest move is probably just to play a4. Because then the pawn name game, uh, my pawn comes first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yes. but okay, that's. Uh, you could have taken on c5 as well. Yes, yes. Also. Course, uh, yeah, then. Uh, yeah, and then just play. Ah, but then it's uh, an end okay. queen end game where. Of course, which is also. It matters wh whose pawns are, are quicker and not how much pawns you have. Yeah. <laughs> well, it still matters uh, also. The no, but then you Rather have check and c5, and you are... Yeah. Ah, no, no but this cone is check. Yes, check yes, that was a little side. problem. That's yes. why I was not... No, no, of course. No, no of seven. course it's also completely winning, because... Yes. Uh, should be, should be. Because, okay, he cannot... Mm, yeah, cannot, cannot put it further because of the check and... Well. Yes. No, but, yeah. okay. okay, so... Na the, 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 and the final position is very nice. I mean, yeah. final combination. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is very nice. Okay, thank you.